Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see how to use the OverDrive app on an Apple iPad Air. And this should also be similar to um, the other Apple devices. So the first thing that we're going to do is get the app. We're going to go to the App Store. that took a moment and then we're going to hit search up at the top and I'm going to look for overdrive and you'll see just by beginning the search these different options um, came up I'm going to go ahead and click on either one of them here is the overdrive app so I'm just going to tap there It will, of course, ask you to purchase the app, um, and you may need to enter in your Apple ID and password if you haven't done any recent purchases. It is a free app, um, so you don't need to worry about that, but um, you still technically purchase it. Once it's done, you can open the app. And then um, you can create an account or sign in. I'm going to see if I can sign in. So we will pause for a moment while I get this all registered. So the um, registration is basically, um, it asks you for your name and then your email and then you have to create a password. Um, after that, it should be registered. Uh, here is the main, main navigation of the app. Um, you can see right now there's no books, and so it wants you to get more books. You can swipe, or um, up here is the main nav navigation list. You'll see it looks like a little list up there. So um, you could tap there too. You will see that I don't currently have any libraries in here. Um, so if I want to go to my library, I just click on Add a Library. And I'm going to search by postal code or zip code. And search. And then I see my library come up. Seymour Public Library District. Just tap there. And it is part of the Finger Lakes Library System. So I tap there, and it stars that library as one of my saved libraries. Um, this is, I was going to say that was part of the um, OverDrive account information, but it is now navigated to Finger Lakes' main OverDrive page. And you can see that it shows the latest um, ebooks, and you can choose from any of those, or up at the top here, you can um, search for either a title or an author if you know what you want to get. Um, if you don't know what you want, you can either choose from the menu button or you'll see it actually has the menu displayed down here. And if I want to get an ebook, which I do, I'm going to go to the ebook fiction section and I'm going to tap on the all fiction. And this will show me all of the fiction books, ebooks that we have. And if you look right there, it tells you how many we have available. So we have um, 2,357 ebooks at this time. Um, however, not all of them are currently able to be checked out because um, some of them are checked out to other people. And you can check that. Um, you can check the availability of the book quickly just by scrolling through. You'll see that the ones that are checked out 
are actually grayed. Right here, there's a little um, book icon. And if it's grayed, it means that they're currently checked out. If, however, it's darkened in, like this one, that means it's currently available for loan. Now the ones that are grayed, you could click on the title and it'll give you the option to place a hold on the book. Um, you, so you do have that option, you can place um, five holds at one time. So that would be five different books you could place on hold. Or um, if the book is blackened like this and you tap the cover, you can borrow it. Um, so if you were searching through and you came to this page and you didn't want to go through all the ones that aren't available to you, you can actually limit the results. So you'll see that here on the left hand side is a navigation bar and this one says show me all titles available now additional titles to recommend. So I'm going to actually choose available now. If I tap there the page will reload and it'll show me only the books um, that are currently available to check out. So there are um, 1,470 titles that can be checked out right now. And these are all of them. You can see that the, all of the covers for these are um, darkened. So as an example, I will just click on one of them. Um, you have two options here. You can either borrow the book right away, or if you wanted to read more about the book, you can click on more. And this will load up an information page on the book. It'll give you the formats of the book, um, what subjects the book fits into, so this is fiction and literature, and how many copies are available. It also gives you a list of recommended titles, um, and then more information on the book, usually a summary, including um, author information. I'm just going to navigate back to this page to show you the um, easy checkout option. So again, you would just check, um, click on the title, and then select borrow. It's going to ask you to log into your library account, which I will enter in. Um, so I'll pause here for a second while I enter this in. Okay, once you have your library information entered, you just hit sign in. And the library information is your, your barcode number on the back of your library card. And your password is usually the last four digits of your home phone number that you registered with the library, unless you've changed it. So here is my bookshelf, and it shows um, the book here, and then your different options. You could select um, read in your browser, so if you were on your computer you could actually read this on your computer's browser. Um, the browser is what displays the the web, so um, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari, um, those are all browsers. So if you selected that um, you could read the book on your browser. But for this example um, we are using the Overdrive app so we're going to use this top button here. We'll click there. And for the Overdrive app, you're going to select Adobe, the EPUB ebook option, which is the one down here. So you'll see a little check marks appears, and then you say confirm and download. So the title has now been added to my bookshelf. To get back to the bookshelf, you're going to go back up here. And you'll see that little um, navigation bar. Tap there. And select bookshelf. You'll see that the OverDrive app um, tells you information about using the app. So in this case, it's showing you the option of how you get to return or share or delete the title. Um, press and hold a title to share and we'll go over that. Um, so I'm just going to say I got it. So here's the book that I just downloaded. 
Um, to get into it, you're just going to tap the title. To read the book, you're just either going to tap on the right, or to go back a page, you'll tap to the left, or you can swipe. Um, to get the menu bar, which it, it showed in the pop-up screen that first came on, you just tap the center of the page and you'll see that the navigation options come up. So down here, um, you can actually change the brightness. If you want it dimmer, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it'll make the page dimmer or brighter. And next to it is the font style change. So if I wanted to make it bigger, I'd click this side. Try it again. And it makes it bigger. Or the little a will make it smaller. And you can also change the font style. So there's bold. And you can also change the background color. You can do white on black or a sepia. I'll stick with um, black and those are probably going to be the main um, tools that you would use for the app. Um, up here, which is kind of hard to see, is a, another list option. This will actually give you the contents, table of contents for the book, so you can hop to the different chapters. And as you're flipping through the pages, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little tiny, tiny bookmark up here. So if you wanted to bookmark the page, you could actually just click there and it'll save that page. To access the bookmarks, let me see if this will show. Um, we have here, again, I went into the um, list that showed the table of contents for the book. Down at the very bottom is the button for bookmarks. So you would just select there, and you could hop to whatever bookmarks you have saved. And it'll jump to that page. To return to your bookshelf, you'll just hit the um, navigation list button again, and then bookshelf. Say I was done with the title and I wanted to return it early. Um, I will say um, quickly on that, you don't have to return any of the titles. They will go back, back automatically. There's no fees or fines with um, ebooks or the e-audiobooks. Um, but you may want to return them early if you want to check out other books and you've reached your limit. So let's say I wanted to return this book. I just have to tap and hold the cover and this menu will appear that says either delete, return, or share. If you're wanting to return the book to get another book, do not hit the delete button. You want to hit the return button. Um, so I'll hit return, and then it will ask you if you're sure you want to return this title. I am, so I'm going to confirm the return. And you'll see that the title disappears. I can also just check my account. Um, with the library, so I'll head back to the Finger Lakes library system. I'm going to refresh my account page. And you'll see now there's nothing on my bookshelf because all the books are returned. And that's how you use the OverDrive app with an Apple device.